One of the owners says the flooding started here and came through these doors where it ruined the floor and construction crews are now working to replace the flooring as soon as possible and get residents back into the home. A very dangerous hurricane is raging through the Caribbean today after making landfall in Haiti. Some places in the Milesburg area are still seeing aftermaths of the flooding. The polls opened here at Alumni Hall at 7 a.m. this morning, and one of the volunteers told us that several thousands have come out to vote already. One of the biggest improvements to the Welcome Center is the pavement. It's porous pavement, which means it absorbs water naturally like this and filters it back into the local environment come here in January and it would look like a ghost town with only 28 full time employees keeping this place running, but it takes 4500 people to put on NASCAR weekend. Under the New York State Good Samaritan law, you can't be prosecuted for reporting an overdose. With this new initiative, that doesn't change. Here in Belfont at the Center County Courthouse, the civil trial between Mike McQuarrie and Penn State University is underway. McQuarrie is seeking $4 million in damages. The defamation and whistleblower trial involving a former Penn State assistant football coach continues today in Belfont. Officials say the project will resume as soon as the funds become available. Penn State students, alumni, and fans showed their support to football kicker Joey Julius after he publicly acknowledged his fight against an eating disorder recently. From here on out, any drug-related deaths in Steuben County will be looked at as a crime. DA Baker says the goal of the initiative is to make Steuben County a lousy place to deal drugs. With Election Day just five weeks from today, Center County residents hoping to have a say in this year's presidential race only have a week left to register. It's only three weeks until Election Day, and candidates are making their final campaign pitches. Thursday night, probably around 10, 30, 11 o'clock, I got the call that um, we had water in the facility and we had to evacuate the residents. Dozens of residents at Eagle Valley Nursing Home in Milesburg had to get out because of flash flooding. Water surrounded the outside of the building and then flooded inside. It ruined much of the carpet and drywall in the common areas and bedrooms. It even destroyed landscaping outside the home. Volunteers and crews work to repair the damage as fast as possible. My phone's going off constantly, people asking, do you need help, do you need me to come down? And they're just stepping up as a community and, and helping out where they can and when they can. One of the owners says the flooding started here and came through these doors where it ruined the floor and construction crews are now working to replace the flooring as soon as possible and get residents back into the home. Some parts of the nursing home on the opposite end were not damaged, but there's still work to be done. With getting the floors ripped out, putting carpet, new carpet down, we had to cut up so far in the drywall and replace some insulation. Um, so we're hoping to get all that back intact as fast as we can. Um, I'm saying seven days, but it could be longer. STEM says the evacuation went smoothly and no one was injured. In Milesburg, I'm Rainey Johnson for the Center County Report. The sounds of gunshots are a lot more common across Pennsylvania now that deer rifle season is underway. For many people here in Tioga County, hunting is a long-standing tradition, something the whole family gets involved with. It's something that people do with their children, and so it's traditions that are passed on. It's really important um, because we stop everything on the first day of hunting season, even school. We have um, that first day off for the kids, so it's a way of life here. For Hunter, Garrett Sargent, deer season is also a family matter. All the family gets together and we just, we go out and have a good time. It's once a year you get to get together. It's kind of like Thanksgiving. Everybody stays and we all go deer hunting. Tioga County attracts thousands of hunters from out of town too. Sporting goods store owner Rose Casper says visitors make up 75% of her customers the weekend before rifle season starts. And this time of year, she sells the most rifle ammo. Once the deer have been shot, the hunters clean them in the fields and then take them to the butcher shop to be processed. The owner of Death Valley Custom Cuts, Eddie White, explains that process. And it comes here and we want to get the hide off as quick as possible and then get it in a cooler cooling for a couple of days so it dries out and then begin the cutting process. The grinding and turn it into steaks and sausages and snack sticks, whatever anybody wants. Deer hunting also helps drive the local economy here and sustain small businesses across the region. This is a, a family business. My wife, my children, my mother, friends, family, everybody helps me out in here and it's good for everyone. White says he even enjoys hunting, especially with his son. Last year he got his first buck and it was absolutely amazing. We, it was awesome. Brought tears to my eyes and that's what it's all about is getting them kids out there and filling the freezer up. In Tioga County, I'm Rainey Johnson for the Center County Report.